Today we're going to look at the Lego separator. There are three different colors available. So if that interests you, it's coming up right after this. More towards what I have. I have a music part to the right of that. It'll go towards the music part. I mentioned last night about Lego separated. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. I can I can show you about that's what this is right here. The Lego separator. You see, it's not sharp, but it kind of it can get sharp if you. I guess if you go this way, but they don't tend to. This one here has a couple of dents in it from you know prying Lego up. But um, this is what they look like. You can usually go to like um, a Lego store or uh, Berks Mini Pigs or one of those used like Lego places. They'll usually just give you one. They usually won't charge you for them. If they do, they're only like a buck, if that. And so they look like a little guy. I like to put eyes on here. A couple eyes on here. I have, I have it on my, um, my uh, the end of my intro. He kind of comes up and looks around. So it's kind of the same. It's the same exact thing. But these are what they look like. Generally, it's the orange ones. They also have green ones. Also, these are kind of kind of rare. Not really rare. And they have a very rare pink one. Which I've, that ones I've never ever seen. Not in real life, anyway. I do have a thing, but let me show you how you do this. Yeah, I got. Like I said, I got. I just got. I just sent one out today, actually, to um, my my last uh, legal winner. So, a little secret there. Uh, let me see if I can get these out of here. I got a bunch of other junk in here, too. But like I said, I got tons of them. I got some batteries in there, too. But I got a whole bunch of them, so I'm just kind of giving them out, you know. Most of them are, pretty, are brand new. I mean, you get them pretty much with any big set. Like, uh, Star, I believe most Star Wars sets have them. Um, the larger sets. Pretty much if it's about $30 more, they usually come with one. Um, on any set. Modelers, they always come with them. Um, I think my Harry Potter that I'm, I'm showing you here, I can't remember if it came on with one. I'm pretty sure it did. Yeah, you can Yeah, you can go to, to the Lego store. You can just ask them. I, I, they're usually pretty good. You just tell them you need a, need a separator that every set you have, or just tell them you lost your separators. And generally, they'll probably give you one of these. Um, if, if anything, probably sell it to you for a dollar. I mean, they're, they're a dime a dozen. You can get them on Lego.com, but then you have to spend like $32. So, you know, you don't want to spend $32 just for one of these, you know. Unless you've got other Lego you want to buy. You can get those in, in Bricks and Mini... I think it's Bricks and Mini Pigs or Bricks and Parts or whatever they call it on Lego.com. So, they are available on there. They've been making these since as long as I can remember. But let me show you how they work. Get some kind of a large Lego here. Trying to get some large pieces here. Like I said, I got some separate Lego around here, but they're all mixed up around everywhere. I don't want to get on my toe because I got things on top, but I do have a set here I've been working on for a couple months ago. Let's see what I got here. I know some bricks in here I can demonstrate. Yeah, see, Star Wars. Got another green one. This is a Star Wars uh, head, is what it is. But the hardest ones to separate are flats. A little dust on there. These flats right here. Let me go ahead and 
snap them together and show you how this works out. Um, you get a brick on here. I can also show you a brick. Just a couple bricks together here. Just want to pull them out. I don't want to lose pieces, of them, so I want to make sure it's all stuck together here. Okay. <clears throat> the way it works is you see how uh, you got the back here, you got the front here, so you can pretty much go any way. You go from the get, it snaps on here just like this. See that? Just like a regular brick. Or you can go the other way. Snaps on there just like that. Just like a brick does. The way you use them is you clip on it like that. Like I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to get it off that way. I got to remember everything's all backwards here. So you clip, you clip on there because you're holding on to it. And as you're holding on to this one here, see I have the bottom one sticking out a little bit. Even then, you only have to do that. But you just kind of bring it up and it pops right off. See that? Pretty easy to do. These generally are really hard, um, so to speak. When you have bricks together, especially when they're lined up like that, you know, you, can, you that's why flats are easy. Cause you can't just grab them. These here you can pretty much grab. But let me show you how it works more. It just comes right off. The way it does that is see this little ledge right there? It's actually holding on to the side there. It's kind of a kind of prize it up and like I said you can also go the other direction too which again it has that little edge there if you want to go the other direction just pry down see that so that that's how those work pretty useful to have one of those especially here's one example here this is probably what you're talking about it's little little tiny pieces like this it's almost impossible to grab when it's like that you're trying to figure out well like i got i can only hold right there but how am i gonna get that guy off the top is you know it's underneath well that's when you go underneath like this bottom way and you just pry up it comes right off but yeah you can't grab those with your fingers very easily because they're so small so it works pretty much everywhere i have had times where it was just almost impossible to get it off i'd actually use clippers or or um or scissors or something like that just to just get it off of there. I mean, it doesn't work. It works about 99.9% .9 of the time. So, and then the other thing you do, is you can also use it for stickers. If you ever have a set that has <coughs> stickers on it, what I do is I put the sticker on here on the edge. You know, it comes off the paper. Just kind of get up underneath it, get it stuck on there, and you pull it off there, and you can line it up. It's a lot easier lining up and trying to, especially me and big thumbs, you know, trying to. By the time you try to line it up, I can't even see the sticker because my thumb's covering it up. So I use this because it's got the little rounded edge here. I can see what I'm doing. I can stick it on there. I have shown it on a, on a live before. Um, I don't have any stickers available here that I'm showing you. Um, and it could be even a tiny, 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 little tiny stickers. You know, you just stick it on there. You can just take it off and stick it. Like, here, I'll show you with a piece of tape. Maybe that'll kind of demonstrate it a little bit better. Let me cut a little piece of tape here. I got some um, black tape here. Just imagine this is a little tiny sticker. We're trying to line up on something. I'm trying to get it as straight as I can here. Okay, imagine this little piece of tape here is a, is a, is a very small sticker. And remember those bricks I had? Let's grab a brick there. That's the easiest way. I got a 4 by 2 right here. And what I want to do is I'm going to get this lined up with the side. Actually, it's a little bit too big, a little bit too wide there. Let me get it smaller. The smaller, the better the demonstration here anyway. So we need a straight edge. I want to line up that straight edge with the edge of the brick. Generally, the sticker is usually smaller than the brick itself if you go on. But now... See, that's really small. That's probably not even a quarter of an inch. And what I want to do is I'm going to line it up at the side right here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that, stick it to the edge, just like so. See that? I want to line it up. Now, this could be a little hard to do with the camera right there, but I want to line it up. Let's line it up in the top corner. So I just kind of. Now I'm kind of doing that there. I don't know if you can see that. 
Let's see, let's turn it like this. Let's see how I can just line it up, place it down there. It's actually not going to stick on there until I actually press on it. So once I feel it's lined up good, I peel it off there. Uh, look at that. That top edge there, top edge isn't perfectly straight, but it wasn't cut very straight there. It's as straight as it's going to get, obviously. For a sticker, it would, be, it would have came out perfect, an actual sticker. But you can see how, how there's a little bit of space here, but it's it's the same all the way across. And I got it, I got it straight there. So and just to peel it off. Of course, this will peel off. But generally, their stickers don't peel off too easily. So let's take that off there. That's how you do the stickers. They actually weren't made for that. That I know of, anyway. It was just like a little Indian trick that um, Lego people came up with. Learned that about, about a year ago. I didn't even know about that, that you can do that with these things. So, yeah, it's, it's kind of a two-in-one thing. So. Oh, the little ones? Yeah. everybody. I, I, I have a hard time with those, too. And believe it or not, you can actually make things out of these, too. Look at this. Watch this. Let me grab a whole bunch of these things. So we show you something. Because they work like bricks also. Sometimes you can find gadgets made with them. I got, like, about six of them here. You can actually you can hook them together. So you can get a little creative with these also. I would say I could stack them up. That's why I kind of do with storage. I store them a little bit. See that? I kind of put a bunch of them together. And uh, a lot of the, what are they called, marble uh, machines use these. And park here and put the rest in here. A lot of the marble, marble machines use them because of this right here. It has like a little track. They'll, they'll use it as a ramp. And let it just let the marble go down. Um, sometimes they use them as switches. Because you can you can put something bendable here and have it where it just where it'll just come down like with a switch. You just press on it, it'll switch it. So they could be used for a lot of different things, just like bricks. But um, yeah, the small uh, like the two by ones of uh, uh, plates, it was the same one as the one that was on top of that one. Two of those stuck together are virtually impossible to get off, and. Uh, that's usually when you want two of them. I would buy two of them if I were you. If you can get two of them, it makes it a lot easier. Because in that case, if you have this problem here, you get two, two little flats here. Like, you know, like I was talking about. So now, this is probably the hardest thing you can ever find. This is not a brick. This is actually two one by 2s put together, top on top. There's no way... Anybody can grab that with their fingers. But even this, I can't even grab that if I wanted to. I couldn't grab that to, to take that off there. You know, it would take a lot of prying. And, you know, see, I just can't, I can't do it. I, there's no way I'd ever get that off there without putting my fingernail and trying to separate it. But if you have two of them, now I can go reverse on the other one. Stick that on there. And now just. Probably like that. There we go. Got them both apart. There's one on each one. I can even put them together that way if I wanted to. So yeah. So if you if you can get two of them, it works really well, especially for that problem there. That's usually about the only one that you actually need two for. So it might be worth it to go ahead and get two of them. So stick one in there. Please subscribe and hit that bell to be notified of videos I post. Thanks for watching.